I'm gonna tell you folks about a trip that we do every year in May. About 10 years ago, Chris Evison used to work for me and I spent so much time in March and April guiding at Pyramid Lake, 17 hours a day in the cold and wind. So one year we decided we wanted to do something after the season, go fishing, do something fun. And we'd always heard about all these fantastic still waters out in Eastern Nevada. So we grabbed my camper, took my boat and took off. And uh, 10 years ago, we started doing this trip for fun and we started telling our friends about it. And next thing you know, we had three people going, four people, five people. And for the last five or six years, we've actually turned this into um, an outing where we invite friends and guests to come fish with us. The pyramid busy season is right now, March and April, but we are already looking forward to heading out to Eastern Nevada. It is one of the most beautiful road trips you could possibly do. It's in an area of Nevada that is pretty desolate. There's not a lot there. It's all mountains and, and uh, back country. Um, the wildlife's amazing. You see deer all over the place. Fisheries are amazing. They're doing a fantastic job. And these fish are not just normal rainbow trout. Last year, the average size fish was somewhere in the two to three pound range with, you know, we're catching fish that are five pounds. For whatever reason, these fish think that they're on the Olympic gymnastics team. They jump five, six times out of the water. They go crazy. Um, they're like little footballs. I know that, you know, everybody uses that term, but these fish look like little footballs. They're solid, they're healthy, they eat a lot, they jump hard, and they are a ton of fun to catch. The place that we fish is called Duck Valley Indian Reservation. It's on the Nevada-Idaho border. There are three reservoirs on the reservation that are managed by the tribe and as well as Idaho Fish and Game. And I'm here to tell you that it is one of my favorite trips of all time locally in the United States for trout. The fishing is fantastic. It's more of a catching trip than a fishing trip. So over the years, we have actually fished um, six or seven different reservoirs. And there's more places to fish out there than you can do in one trip or even a year. And we keep fine tuning it a little more every year to where the fishing is the best. And for the last four or five years, the three reservoirs on Duck Valley Indian Reservation are far and beyond better than anything else around there. The neat thing about them is they're smaller reservoirs. So being, you know, in kind of a weather shoulder season, May, you never know what to expect. It can be snowing, it can be 80, um, but the fishing is always fantastic. But what we found, these little smaller reservoirs with cattails and, you know, inlets, um, always offer a place to get out of the weather they make it really easy to access from the shore and to throw a fishing party on the side of a lake. It's a, a fantastic place for a get together. How the trip works is um, we camp at one of the lakes right on the bank. It is awesome. Full hookups and that's where we stage for the outing. Um, you can camp with us. You can make reservations at the RV park in advance. We always uh, reserve two or three extra spaces in case somebody uh, needs one right next to where we stay. Um, you can dry camp anywhere around the lake. It's really simple. Or there's a few small motels um, on the reservation and then just off as well where you could stay if you um, don't want to camp with us. It's very simple. We blow up our pontoon boats and float tubes and leave them put together and ready to go for the whole time because we're right on the lake. We basically spend the entire day catching big rainbow trout. So over the years, um, you know, we have studied these fisheries to find out exactly what these fish like to eat. We've really fine tuned our fly patterns. Um, the time of year that we like to go, uh, this time in May is amazing. Um, there's tons of food, the water's warming up, the fish are getting active, they jump like crazy. Um, and what we have found is 
you know, like a lot of still waters, these places are midge factories. Um, and you can dial it in day by day as to what color, what size the midges are. But I'm here to tell you that when you hang a midge under one of these little foam circle things, it goes under all the time. We spend the entire time we're fishing out there watching these things sink. So if you've ever been somewhere, Pyramid Lake for example, where you stare at this thing all day and it never moves, you won't have that problem on this trip. These things go under all the time. It's just such a fun trip to be out there in the middle of nowhere in Nevada. Uh, you know, we're sponsored by Traeger and actually last year um, we happened to be on the lake on uh, what was called Traeger Day. And it was a celebration that Traeger had, you know, for years of existence kind of thing. And uh, it's kind of nice because they sponsor us. And, you know, we have a big Traeger grill at our campsite. The gastronomic experience is amazing. We do incredible food during these outings, you know, from barbecued pork ribs to camping potatoes. They've been named. We have those all the time, Caesar salad. Anyway, you won't go hungry. I'm very fortunate to have some very uh, big sponsors um, like Traeger and Sage, uh, Far Bank in general, and Outcast, who um, is the leader in float tubes and pontoon boats in the fly fishing industry. We have um, available outcast frameless pontoon boats if you don't have something to float in. But we have those and they're awesome. They have oars. You can put an anchor on them, fish finders, um, rod holders. They're, they're really nice. Um, and we also have two utility trailers that we um, decked out as small little mini campers to use at Pyramid Lake. Um, and if anybody wants to rent one of our campers, you can just pick it up in Reno and take it out there with you. They're lightweight. You can tow them with just about anything. They've got bunk beds, lights, charging station, and you know, we're doing all the food, so you don't have to worry a whole lot. You just need a comfortable place to sleep. And this would be a fantastic uh, way to get out there. These trailers are easy to tow. We are looking forward already to our trips coming up in May this year. We have two open dates out of the three. The first date's already sold out. Um, and the second dates are May 17th through the 19th and May 21st to the 23rd. You will have a blast, I guarantee it. And this trip is only growing in popularity and I expect both the second and the third outing to sell out pretty quickly. So if you're interested, please let me know. Uh, we're spending the next couple of months setting up and organizing this trip, getting it together, and we're gonna have a blast again. Uh, we'd love to have you join us, and uh, I hope to see you out in Eastern Nevada this year.